Hello, welcome. Take a moment and read this problem and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so here we've got an inverse function problem, right? It says f uh, to the negative 1 of x equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2. Now, I said f to the negative 1, right? But this is not really an exponent. This means the inverse of f of x. That's what it means. So that's not an exp exponent, that's an inverse notation. So the inverse of f of x is this function. What is the function itself? Now remember the inverses, they just reverse the inputs and outputs. So in other words, if I rewrite this as common first, a common algorithm for this, I would just write y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2. Well, this is the inverse function. So inverse functions switch the domains and the ranges. So to get back to where we started, where we would have started with f of x, I swap my x and y's. Right? I swap it because that's what inverse functions do. They swap the domain and range. So if I want to work my way back to the original function, I've got to swap the x's and y's back to do that. Now I want to solve for y. Right? I want to solve for y. How do I do that? Well, first thing I'm going to do is subtract 2 from both sides. Okay, it's working out. We get x minus 2. And that's going to equal negative 3 fourths y. And to get rid of this fraction, I'm going to multiply everything by the reciprocal of it, which means negative 4 thirds. And I know those two are reciprocals because if I multiply those two fractions, I get 1, right? I get 12 over 12, which is 1. And I just have a y there. And then negative 4 thirds, I want to distribute it to the x and the 2. The, and we're subtracting there, so I'm going to keep track of those two negative signs. Okay, negative 4 thirds x, and then here we do negative 2 times negative 4, that's positive 8, over 3, and that equals y. And this is the original function, which is f of x. So this common algorithm, notice all I did was I, I rewrote it, so instead of using this function notation, I wrote a y. That's a very common first step. And to get back to the original function, I swapped x and y and solved for y. And that leads me uh, towards choice 2, which is exactly what we got. All right, hope that helped.